Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, today is Wednesday, April 3rd. Yes, today is April 3rd. Uh, we are in the middle of WrestleMania week. And you know what? It's time to do some WrestleMania predictions. But first and foremost, I would like to thank everybody um, who has been supporting me so far with all the subscribers and all the follows and everything in between. Um, I really do appreciate all the support. Uh, and, you know, I kind of started doing these reactions a very, very long time ago. Uh, with uh, WrestleMania 30 was the very first time I did live reactions. And even though it's kind of improved since then, uh, this will be the first time that I've done them alone uh, in a, well, in my own place uh, of residence and, you know, just pretty much having a good time. And as I've been saying in, a, in some previous videos that I will be joining uh, some people from VWE in a, um, I think it's a after or it's a watch party or, or a, a viewing kind of little party, but I'll be watching on my uh, television right here with uh, with good old Chromecast. Which again, if you haven't bought from from me, literally endorsing Chromecast, <laughs> just go to Best Buy, uh, go to Target. It's twenty, it's thirty dollars at Best Buy or wherever you pick it up at i think it's also 30 around 30 dollars at walmart uh so it, it's very very cheap the cheapest one should be around 30 dollars. so go there ask where the chromecasts are gross uh, chromecast device and you're looking for one well actually all the ones specifically should connect via hdmi um, to your television uh, I would actually highly recommend you buy a uh, a charger, uh, an old, um, I can't remember what type charger it takes, but it's an, it's, uh, it's an old Samsung, I think it's a S8 charger, because uh, I have the S9, don't quote me on that, anywho, um, I don't even know what kind of a phone I have, that's that's pretty sad. But the old S7, S8 chargers, uh, you can definitely use for the Chromecast. So make sure you pick up an extra charger. That's only $5 at, at a Walmart or, again, a Best Buy. So, or even a dollar at the Dollar General. Just just go. Just get the, get, get the Chromecast, see what kind of a charger it takes, and then get the charger. It's that easy. Because so I don't think the charger comes with it. If it does, then it does. Mine didn't, so, or at least I don't think I did, or either that or I lost, I uh, can't remember what, what happened to the charger, but, um, pick up an, uh, pick up a spare charger, you, you never know when you might need it anyways. Anywho, that's enough endorsing, um, and again, to reaffirm what's going to happen this week, I'm going to be, uh, streaming NXT TakeOver Saturday at noon, um, which will be after it already happened. And then the WrestleMania kickoff show starts on Sunday at 5 p.m. And WrestleMania uh, kicking off right at 7 p.m. So the stream is going to start as soon as VWE Pulse is over. We're going to go straight to, uh, to wherever they're going to do their after party, uh, which I think I will be able to announce. I'm not entirely sure. I'm probably going to say something about it um, and maybe even kind of cheekily um, promote myself I'm not not sure if he'll even I, I don't know if they'll allow me to do that uh, but anywho um, yeah just to let you guys know I will be streaming live reactions starting at around three sometime before the pre-show uh, pre starts so I, I don't know how long pulse is going to be it's probably going to be a very very short show uh, I would say at, at least an hour. It's going to start at around two Eastern, so um, it's it's going to be it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. I'm really excited, uh, so I, I I really can't wait. Anywho, let's get started with the predictions. Now we're going to start with uh, things that are happening on the pre-show, and I got all of my sources from the Wikipedia page 
that has all the current up-to-date matches, at least as far as I know. Uh, we're going to start off with the Cruiserweight Championship match. Buddy Murphy versus Tony uh, Nice, I think, is how you pronounce his name. Not entirely sure, but you know what? I haven't, you know, been very excited about the um, Cruiserweight Championship. I don't think it's going to um, change hands, to be honest. Um, so I, I have no interest in the uh, in the Cruiserweight Championship match. So definitely going to pass. Probably won't even pay attention to it. Um and uh, that'll probably just, you know, me still setting up this, the, the stream and stuff. So it just really depends on what happens. Um, so, yeah, moving on to the very first Battle Royale, which will most likely be the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royale, uh, which, ha uh, uh, yeah, which has uh, Dana Brooke, Mickey James, Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, Sarah Logan from Raw, and from SmackDown, Asuka, Carmella, Naomi, Lana, Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville, uh, Zelina Vega, and Nikki Cross, which is a free agent for whatever reason. I don't know, but should have said NXT. But honestly, Nikki Cross is, is on SmackDown, in my opinion. So, you know. Um, the favorite has to be... Um, Asuka, and I guess mainly because she was pretty much robbed of the SmackDown Women's Championship, so I'm very, very pissed that she's not getting a rematch, and I'm also reminded that they can't get rematches, they gotta earn it for whatever fucking reason, so it's kind of stupid, but you know what, whatever, it doesn't matter. So the favorite has to be Asuka, um, and my pick has got to be Asuka or Nikki Cross. I don't know. I, I, I have a feeling Nikki Cross might win it. I also have a feeling Asuka might win it. So it might, might come down to Asuka, Nikki Cross, um, Ruby, uh, Ruby Riot, and... I don't know, Mandy Rose. Just putting that out there. I don't know. It might might just be those four, or th those four women as the final four. So I think I'm getting a feeling Oscar's going to win it because she was pretty much screwed out of her championship. Uh, as like, hey, I'm sorry we had to screw you. Here's the women's battle royale trophy, which I don't know why they didn't name it after another wrestler. So, you know, whatever. Moving on to the uh, more superstar-filled um, Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale, which features uh, EC3, Tucker, and Otis as free agents. And from SmackDown, Andre Ali. Why, why is Ali Ali and not Mustafa Ali? Shelton Benjamin, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, Matt and Jeff Hardy, and from Raw, uh, Braun Strowman, Apollo Crews, Titus O'Neil, Tyler Breeze, Jinder Mahal, No Way Jose, which, what kind of a name is that? Just get remove No Way and name him Jose since you removed Mustafa from Ali. So whatever. Um, where, where I leave off? Bobby Roode, Chad Gable, Kalisto, uh, I can't pronounce this guy's name. Gran Metalik. I, I, he's definitely not winning. Uh, Lynch Dorado, Bo, Gal, uh, Bo, Bo Gallus, Bo Dallas, Carl, uh, Curtis Axel, not Carl, Curtis Axel, Heath Slater, Rhino, Victor, and Connor. Also, for whatever fucking reason, Michael Che and Colin Jost is also in this match. Why are these two morons in this match? Why? 
Apparently these two are from Saturday Night Live. Again, why? Why are these two morons that probably have never fought in their goddamn life in this match? Why? 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 Why is this a thing? So they're probably going to be the first eliminated. And the f obvious favorite is Braun Strowman. Um, my pick has got to be Braun Strowman. And if not Braun Strowman, Jeff Hardy. Matt Hardy won it, I want to say, last year. So it's got to be either Braun Strowman, Jeff Hardy... Um, or actually, let me let me um, pick my final four: Braun Strowman, the Hardys, so that's three, and one one of the celebrities. It's got to be it's got to be one of the celebrities because it's WWE. They're not going to allow the two celebrities to get knocked off very early. So it's probably going to be like five left. The the final five. Braun Strowman, the Celebrities, and the Hardys. Got to be it. So, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't understand why these celebrities are even in this event to begin with. So it doesn't matter. All right. So who do I believe is going to open up WrestleMania? Uh, it's got to be the Fatal 4-Way for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Uh, the only reason why I say uh, opening the the, uh, the show is because this was pretty much last minute. Uh, I I don't I don't think that uh, there there's literally been no build up to it, so it'd be great to open up with the Fatal Four Way tag match, Usos, uh, Ricochet and Aleister Black, The Bar, and uh, Shinsuke Nakamura and Rusev. Um, who do I think is going to win? Um, I don't know. It really depends on what happens at NXT TakeOver. Ricochet and Aleister Black are supposed to go into NXT TakeOver and fight for the NXT Tag Team Championships. Yet they're also in this match at WrestleMania. So uh, if I had to take a random guess, they are most likely going to lose the NXT Tag Team Championships at NXT TakeOver. They're going to walk into WrestleMania. Uh, and then they're going to walk out uh, SmackDown Tag Team Champions. So that's probably, uh, th yeah, that's definitely going to be my pick for for this Fatal 4-Way Tag Match. Um, yeah, I, I don't really have anything uh, 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 to say about the event. I, I'm looking forward for it. I'm not... Very much looking forward for uh, Ricochet and Aleister Black being, you know, their NXT call-ups. They're trying to push these two, for whatever reason, as tag teams instead of singles people. Because that's what they are. They're singles people. But I do, I, I am enjoying uh, the, their uh, tag stuff. So, and honestly, Ricochet has the best theme. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, Ricochet has the best theme theme interest entrance or theme music i should say alistair black in my opinion has the best entrance um so i'm looking forward for their entrances um for wrestlemania so you know it's gonna be it, it's gonna be an an awesome match i would hope so, just really depends. Uh, and then we will have probably a singles match, I would assume. Probably not another Fatal 4-Way tag match uh, straight after. But I would assume that we are going to go straight into the United States Championship match. Samoa Joe versus Rey Mysterio. Either that or Bobby Lashley versus Finn Balor. Both of those have not been built very well, in my opinion, because all of the booking has just been around Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, and um, Brock Lesnar, uh, Seth Rollins, Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins, and Kofi Kingston. Pretty much everything around that. All the other booking went elsewhere. 
I'm not entirely sure what's even going on with Samoa Joe and Rey Mysterio. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with Bobby Lashley and Finn Balor. Other than I know that because Finn Balor is coming out as the demon, it's most likely going to take place later in the event. So Samoa Joe, Rey Mysterio is definitely going to happen before um, the Intercontinental Championship match. So Samoa Joe, Rey Mysterio, Samoa Joe going in as the champion. Uh, Rey Mysterio is the challenger. Uh, again, there really hasn't been any build. I'm uh, I'm going to you know go ahead and assume it's going to be a very very brutal match because it's Samoa fucking Joe. Um, so I'm I'm looking forward for it. Uh, I'm you know I'm going to be cheering for Rey Mysterio, but honestly, at the end of the day, Samoa Joe is most likely going to retain the United States Championship. So I do not see Rey Mysterio winning this match uh but you know i've been proven wrong before so uh, samojo samojo's unfortunately going to be my pick um for for after that match again you know i i'm not i'm not really seeing any kind of build other than samojo is just a fucking beast i'm sorry ray but it's true so Ray, if you can by chance prove me wrong, I'd appreciate it. But Samoa Joe is definitely going to have the win here at WrestleMania. Um, we might, uh, we will most likely move on to um, Roman Reigns, Drew McIntyre as the next singles match. We might get a promo. I don't know or what's. What, what will happen, but I'm assuming that we will move on to Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre early in the pay-per-view. So third match in, Roman Reigns, Drew McIntyre. Uh, hasn't been built very much um, other than the fact that, hey, by the way, Roman Reigns is returning. So we're going to have one more Shield reunion at Fastlane, uh, and then Dr uh, Drew McIntyre is going to do some shit with Roman Reigns. So Drew, Drew McIntyre, Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns is going to win. Uh, is, is, well, it's going to win. <clears throat> I say this because it's Roman Reigns is great. Uh, well, it's a great return. To, uh, honestly, his him returning is good. It's good. It it boosts it boosts WrestleMania just a little bit. I'm very very glad he's not the main event. But at the end of the day, Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre, um, it's got to be said, I'm, it's, uh, it's very, very exciting to see Roman Reigns come back after battling, um, battle, battling leukemia. So, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a great match. It's going to be very, very physical. Uh, I expect a table to be broken in this match. So, you know. We might move on to um, the uh, the other Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Championship or Tag Team Match for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Um, this will be the second time and the very first time that it's being defended at WrestleMania. So, Boston Hug Connection, Bailey and Sasha Banks... Versus the Divas of Doom, Beth Phoenix and Natalia, which I don't know why they're calling themselves the Divas of Doom. Um, versus the Iconics, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. Versus uh, Nod Jackson and Tamina, which they don't have a team name, so allow me to give them one. The Fat Chicks. I'm joking, of course. I'm not going to call them that, I promise. But... They need a team name too, so I, I gave them one. <clears throat> they I, I could I could have just said the running bull or whatever, but I don't I don't know what I'm even thinking. I do apologize though, so don't you know, don't hound on me. Don't come to my apartment door and I don't, I don't, don't want to see Nia Jax or Tamina at my door. Ugh. Uh, I do see the women's tag team championships. Um, being taken off of Bailey and Sasha Banks here, though. I don't see them successfully defending, uh, specifically 
because it's a fatal four way. You just really never know. I don't see them being pinned. I think, I personally think the Iconics is most likely going to walk out the uh, women's tag team championships. But my pick, my personal pick, has got to be Beth Phoenix and Natalia. It's great seeing Beth Phoenix back. It really is. I hope she's back for a little while longer. Uh, even as a Hall of Famer, she hasn't technically retired as of yet. So my pick has got to be the Divas of Doom. Uh, but I, I can honestly see the Iconics walking out as tag team champions. So um, they were the ones that made the cha- the official challenge to Bailey and Sasha Banks. Even They've been on Raw for a little bit. So the Iconics were like, oh, why don't you come to SmackDown? This is supposed to be you know, on both brands. So why not come to SmackDown and challenge us? They did at Fastlane. I think they lost. So... Or actually, no, I know they lost. Or wait, no, 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 no. excuse me. Their first um, title defense was against Tamina and and uh, Nia Jax at Fastlane. Excuse me, I do apologize about that. Um, so yeah. So that was the whole freaking Iconics deal. And then Divas, uh, Beth Phoenix and Natalia got involved for whatever reason. Nia Jax and Tamina got involved for whatever reason. I'm not, I don't even care. I expect this to be... Um, not a very long match. Uh, it's probably it's probably going to get uh, go back and forth. And I see, uh, I see Natalia and one of the Iconics facing off. Either Natalia or Beth Phoenix. I don't know. I don't care. I see one of the Divas of Doom, and I see one of the Iconics facing off for the last time, um, or as or for the, for the final pinfall. I don't know who's going to get the pinfall, but it's definitely going to be Divas, one of the Divas of Doom and one of the Iconics at the end of the day. Put it down. Line has been uh, line has been drawn. Let's let's move on. So uh, let's so yeah, let's move on to the um, the very first main title match: Daniel Bryan versus Kofi Kingston. Now the reason why I put this into the middle of this, well, let's face it, it's not going to be the main event. As much as we want this specific match to be the main event, because we're all cheering for Kofi at this point, this Kofi Kingston movement has just been all over the place, and I'm very, very, I'll be very, very excited for Kofi Kingston if by chance he wins this match. If Kofi Kingston wins this match, he will be uh, pretty much making history uh, by becoming the very first African American to become WWE champion. So it's going to be a very, very huge win for Kofi if he is able to pull it off. Uh, And all in all, my pick is going to be Kofi. It's definitely going to be a brutal match. Uh, I can, you could expect um, Rowan to interfere somehow, some way. You can expect Big Day or Big Day, the New Day, to either interfere or um, get barred from ringside, or Kofi Kingston gets disqualified, or whatever. Um, and as much as I want Kofi Kingston's old entrance back, I, I, I would literally jump out of my seat, scream for the sky, probably get the cops called on if Kofi Kingston comes out in his old entrance. That would be just... It, it'd be amazing. It'd be worth it. Everybody knows... What Kofi Kingston's old music is. They don't want to hear all oh, New York City or all oh, WrestleMania. They want to see, they want to hear, come on, or whatever, the, whatever the hell the first words are for that. I think it is come on, uh, or whatever. But either way, they want to hear that SOS theme. That's what I want to hear personally. So could definitely definitely look forward for Daniel Bryan versus Kofi Kingston um 
not I'm not really expecting much to happen. It's probably going to go on for I want to say around maybe 30-ish minutes. It's going to be a very long pay-per-view. So 30 minutes to who knows how long. So yeah. <clears throat> First major um championship match middle of the card moving on. Shane McMahon versus The Miz. False count anywhere match. Um, if Miz's father come uh, comes to WrestleMania, you can probably expect him to land a punch. Um, I am expecting the uh, I'm expecting Miz to win this. Honestly. Um, I don't, I don't really see Shane McMahon losing, but you know, it is a false count anywhere, meaning it's a no disqualifications match. Uh, so Shane could just get who knows how many people to go after the Miz, but he might, I don't know. Miz may get some help here. He may get some help. I'm not, I'm not betting on it, but Miz might just get a little bit of help. But hey, there's no authority figures, so whatever. I don't know. It might be a, it might be a fair false count anywhere match. Might not. Not entirely sure. I'm just looking forward for it. I'm hoping the Miz will win, but you know, it's most likely going to be Shane at the end of the day. My pick is the Miz. So. It's going to be awesome. Speaking of awesome, Kurt Angle's farewell match. His final match is going to be at WrestleMania this Sunday. But I don't believe it's going to be Baron Corbin. Or if it is, it's going to be a very short match. It's either going to be a very short match. John Cena comes down to the ring and challenges Kurt Angle one more time. And that will last for 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes. It's going to be a very, it's, it's going to be another short match and it's going to be a great moment for Kurt Angle and John Cena. I'm calling it right now. John Cena has to go out there and challenge Kurt Angle one more time. It's gotta be. Um, like I said, Baron Corbin not is not going to have a very good uh, night at WrestleMania, unfortunately. It's going to be a very, very short match. Uh, you could probably expect just Karen Angle going all, pretty much straight after Baron Corbin, getting him knocked down, putting the ankle lock on him, and then getting the win. Pretty much in, I want to say, three... Two to three minutes. It's going to be a very short match. And then John Cena comes down. It's going to be another short-ish match. Maybe give or take ten minutes. There's going to be some talk. And then Kurt Angle versus John Cena is definitely going to happen. I'm throwing it out there right now because I don't want to, you know, be like, oh my god, I didn't expect this. So I'm expecting it to happen. If it does happen, I'm going to freak out as usual. You'll watch it on stream. And I'm going to be like, I fucking called it. So, you know, I'm calling it right now. John Cena is going to come out there right after he uh, right after Kurt Angle beats Baron Corbin in a two or three minute match. Going to challenge Kurt Angle. It's going to be an awesome 10 ish, 10 to 15 minute match. It's going to be a very, very short match. I don't expect this to go any longer than 10 or 15 minutes um, versus John Cena. If it even happens, if it doesn't happen, I'm going to be very upset. So, you know, whatever. Um. The winner of Kurt Angle versus John Cena, I don't care. I just want the match to happen. So, <laughs> if it does happen, I'll do what I who I think is going to win, um, probably right then and there, and uh, we'll definitely do like a list of matches and what happens and all that good stuff. Triple H versus Batista. Um. It's going to be a no-holds-barred match. If Triple H loses, he must retire from in-ring competition. Guys, Triple H has not won a WrestleMania. 
um, since 2007 or 2008. The 2007 or 2008, I can't remember. Pretty much ever since he started the feud with um, Undertaker, uh, after Shawn Michaels was forced to retire, he's been losing every single WrestleMania ever since. There was Undertaker, Daniel Bryan, Brock Lesnar, I think. Or no, did he win that? Um, I, I can't remember. But um, uh, Kurt Angle and um, Ronda Rousey. Uh, and, and that was a good match, by the way, uh, last year. I love that match. Um, I'm losing track. I, I can't remember who else he... he, um, he Sting! Yeah, he, he uh, or no, he won that, excuse me. So he hasn't won a WrestleMania match um, since Sting. It just feels like he's been losing a lot of WrestleMania matches. I don't think Triple H, unfortunately, I don't think Triple H is going to win this. He's going to the Hall of Fame with DX, which might be right before this match. Uh, and he might just go out with the DX music. I'm not sure. It's a no holes barred match, meaning no disqualification. I'm expecting some backup. <clears throat> um, I don't know who's gonna win. I really don't. I'm I'm pretty stumped. I just think I I full on think Batista's gonna win. There's been some cheers and boos for Batista. There's been some cheers and boos for Triple H. So it's kind of mixed. And, you know, it's it's definitely going to be late in the pay-per-view um, because it's Triple H. So, you know, just it's whatever at the end of the day. Triple H versus Batista. Uh, and this, this may be Triple H's last match. So, you know, it just really depends. It just, I'm not entirely sure. If Triple H, if Triple H loses... I'll be okay with it, but if Batista win, uh, if if Triple H wins, I'll also be okay with it. It's not a match that I'm particularly worried about. I'm not excited, not very excited for. But if it becomes exciting, you'll see me. But you know, at the end of the day, Triple H versus Batista, it's not a match that I'm very very hyped about. But it's it's definitely going to be a match to watch at the end of the day. Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins for the WWE Universal Championship. Um, Seth Rollins, unfortunately, is going to go to Suplex City. But Seth Rollins is definitely going to win the Universal Championship match. On Sunday, I don't know how. I don't know how. Um, he's had tr uh, Brock Lesnar's had trouble with with um, Daniel Bryan. He's had trouble with uh, Finn Balor. So, you know, it's just whatever at the end of the day. But definitely, Seth Rollins is going to walk out of WrestleMania as the WWE Universal Champion. I just I don't see it ending any other way. I don't think Brock Lesnar is going to stick around for very very long. I know he's scheduled to appear at the next Saudi Arabia pay per view, which I don't know what's going to be called. Uh, and if he is going to show up, he's not going to show up champion. He's not going to show up to win a champion. He's going to show up to kick somebody's ass. So you know it's just whatever at the end of the day. Um, I'm not I'm not really expecting anything to happen um, between Brock Lesnar and Seth Rollins other than a few suplexes. It's probably going to last for about 15 to 20 minutes, but Seth Rollins is definitely going to win this match. He's definitely going to walk out Universal Champion. If I'm proven wrong, I'm proven wrong, but very, fairly excited for this match. And then, finally, the main event, 
the first ever main event women's match. Winner takes all triple threat. Ronda Rousey, the Raw Women's Champion. Charlotte Flair, for whatever reason, is the SmackDown Women's Champion. Versus Becky Lynch. And a winner takes all triple threat for both titles. So, pretty much that. It's a triple threat match for both championships. Which, I don't understand why this is this is a thing. But you know what? It's a thing. It's a thing that I will accept. Um, so, you know, it's just whatever at the end of the day. And uh, it's going to be an all-out brawl. At first, I was very much against the addition of Charlotte Flair. I was pretty much saying, as soon as she was added, that I was going to turn it off right after Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins. Or whatever matches before, or basically right before that match. Because I did not want to watch it. I did not want to watch Charlotte Flair do that. And then and then the audacity to rip Oscar from the SmackDown Women's Championship and this happens. But what got me to be interested in this match was the brawl on last uh, the, the, this past Monday's Raw. The brawl that basically got all three of them arrested. Uh, Ronda Rousey kicked out a window. And, um, you know, and then Becky Lynch's promo, of course, on SmackDown. It was a very, very nice promo. Um, got me pretty excited. And you know what? I'll stick around. I'll stick around to watch it because you know what? I'm very, very excited to see Becky Lynch become the champion. I don't really have a favorite other than Becky Lynch. I, I really, really hope she becomes champion. And, um, you know, for the longest time, it sh really should have just been Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch. I don't really understand the reasoning for adding Charlotte Flair to this match. But um, should have just been Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch. Should have been it. I don't understand why everything that happened happened but you know what at the end of the day Becky Lynch is my is my pick for this match um, I'll be very excited you know throughout the match uh, just really depends on how it goes where it goes um, so yeah it's it's gonna be a very very exciting match I really can't wait so yeah very very exciting I hope you guys are excited as well. Uh, I'm not going to be doing predictions for NXT TakeOver simply because it's not something I've been paying attention to. So, unfortunately. Sorry. Anywho, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little predictions video. What's your guys' uh, uh, what, Which match are you guys looking forward to seeing? Um, what's your guys' predictions? Leave them down in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you leave a like. And if you like my, if you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell so you get notified. And follow me on Twitch so you can watch my reactions this Saturday and Sunday for NXT Takeover on Saturday, WrestleMania on Sunday, um, so on and so forth. It's going to be very very exciting. <clears throat> and I really can't wait. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.